Hello there. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to determine the optimal stocking level under a single period inventory model. This question corresponds to problem 1237 in your text. Here we have a bakery that prepares its cakes between 4 and 6 a.m. so they'll be fresh when their customers arrive. Day-old cakes are pretty much always sold, but at a 50% discount off the regular price of $10. The cost of baking a cake is $6, and the estimated demand is normally distributed with a mean of 25 and standard deviation of 4. The requirement is to determine the optimal stocking level. If we list our variables in the problem to be used with a single period inventory model, we have the cost of a shortage, which is simply the selling price minus the variable cost of making the cake, which is $10 minus $6 or $4. In accounting, we also call that contribution margin. And then we also have the cost of overage, which basically is the $6 cost minus the salvage value, the discounted selling price of $5. So the cost of overage is a dollar per cake. The first thing we want to do then is determine an optimal service level based on the formula of the cost of being short divided by the cost of being short plus the cost of being over. The cost of being short is essentially the same as the stock out cost. In our formula, the cost of shortage is $4, and we divide that by the cost of shortage plus the cost of overage, or $4 plus one, or $5. So $4 over $5 works out to 0.80. If we look at our standard normal table and you look for 80%, you'll find that that corresponds to a Z value of about 0.84. If we draw what this looks like visually with a standard normal curve and a mean of 25, an 80% service level corresponds to a Z value of 0.84. And if we take 0.84 times the standard deviation of four, that determines that the safety stock would be 3.36 units or four, because you can't have a partial cake. The optimal stock level then is calculated as the mean demand plus the safety stock. We know the mean demand is 25, and the safety stock is calculated as Z times the standard deviation. So we take 25 plus a Z value of 0.84 times the standard deviation of 4, and that will result in a total of about 27.36 cakes, but you can't have a partial cake, so you'd round that up to 28 cakes. So the number of cakes, which would result in a 80% service level, is a total of 28, which is therefore the optimal stock, which is comprised of the mean demand of 25 cakes plus 4 cakes of safety stock. And that's how you apply a single period inventory model.